on this recap edition of the Super Bowl, we're going to highlight everything Tom Brady did well. Of course, he was excellent. But we're also going to highlight what the plus size model over here said couldn't happen. AB can't stay out of trouble. Brady can't win without Belichick. Well, it's time to call him out. That's the reason why I'm glad you're here to make sure you see the one chip challenge. Listen, Spice, I'm a man of my word. I lost the bet. Hats off to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They did their thing. One chip challenge is nothing. I'm going to defeat this just like the Bucs defeated the Chiefs. But make sure you guys subscribe to the Behind the Mask podcast. Follow us on social media. Also, at the BTM podcast. Click the bell for notifications. Yeah, I'm going to knock out this one chip challenge. Remember, because on the Behind the Mask podcast, there's only one rule. There are no rules. I'm going to do this damn challenge, man. Let's go behind the mask. Welcome back. To the Super Bowl recap, yes, the Kansas City Chiefs going up against the Tampa Bay Bucks. We already know what happened, but as much as I would love to do this show by myself, I cannot. That's the reason why I'm going to call on a new guest this week, and he goes by the hot one-chip plus-size model. What up, dude? What's up, Tequila? How are you doing? I am outstanding. I went to bed last night and I could not wait to do this show with you because we have so much to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. We do. We got a lot to talk about. Let's get to it, brother. (laughs) Well, well, let's let's get to it without further ado, man. Like, we don't want to cover the coverage because we want to give you as much time as we possibly can. So, You know, just to sum it up, man, quarterback Tom Brady secured his seventh Lombardi trophy. Two more than any player in NFL history and one more than any entire NFL franchise has achieved. That's dope. Definitely dope, man. And, you know, even though the team that I was going for didn't win, you got to take your hat off to Tom Brady. The GOAT, hands down, he, he, he just consistently does it. We, we talked about it in previous episodes, man, how poised he is, no matter what's going on around him, just the preparation, just the attention to detail, finding out ways to win and making a, another team's strengths and turning them into weaknesses. I can't say it enough as much as, for personal reasons, you know, I didn't want Tom Brady to win again. Not hating. He beat my, my Panthers back in 04, you know, the one chance I had to get a ring. Yeah. That's why I always had, to, that's why I had, you know, the personal feelings. And of course, me and you going back and forth about which team we wanted to win. But yo, man, this dude, year in, year out, he rises to the occasion and, and, and you have to give him props. I don't care if you had disdain the man, don't like him. You have to give him props for what he does and, and, and how he gets that excellence out of the players around him. Not just him. He makes each player around him better. That's the sign of a champion and of a true leader. You know what, man? And you're right. Because the thing, what I saw, you talk about him making players better around him. Bruh, you know, now everybody is talking about how great their defense is now. Present tense versus, you know, how great they were becoming. When you look at towards the end of the season, then going into the playoff run, big shout out to those guys, man. Yeah. Who would have ever thought that they would have, would have held Patrick Mahomes? He almost threw 50 passes, only 270 yards passing. We know a lot of that came in junk time, mm-hmm. two interceptions, and a QBR rating that means quarterback rating of 52. Man, that's stupid. It's stupid. And and this is what 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 sticks out to me. Like, right, you know, they got um overall they got Mike Evans, right? You know, you think yeah. about the guys who have been there. You think about Chris Godwin. Mm-hmm. But now let's look at the OGs who decided to come on yeah. to the team. You look at Grunk. Him and, and Grunk established a new record at the Super Bowl, the most Passing touchdown, passing, receiving touchdowns when it comes to a tandem. 
you look at Leonard Fournette, a lot of people thought, man, he's looking for a home. Now it seems as if this is his new home. He was able to rip off a bunch of yards, 89 yards rushing last night combined with Ronald Jones, which I love Ronald Jones. I think he's a dog. And you look at A.B. A lot of people (laughs) wrote A.B. off to. A lot of people wrote him off, including you. Yeah, yeah. You know, just want to remind you, you know what I mean? Anyway, (laughs) you know, we we know what A.V. did out there, you know what I mean? Had a touchdown catch, 5 for 22. So more than anything, I think when you talk about the defensive side, and we can go to that shortly, the guys who came to this team to be in and just assist, to Mm -hmm. complement the other core of the team, they were the ones that really made the big plays, and it, it proves the point of what you just said. He does make everybody better around him. Yeah, man. And when you you have such a, a a poised quarterback, a quarterback that's in control of the game, as Tom Brady was, and then you look on the defensive side of the ball, you know Spice as a defender, when you see your quarterback in the groove and it seems like everything is working, you can pin your ears back a little bit. You can play a little bit more loose. You don't have to be tense. And you saw you talk about the veterans, JPP off the edge. You you brought it up in the last po- last podcast. JPP coming off the edge. You Excuse know what me. What, what did you say? I, I, you brought it up in the last podcast. Oh yeah. The pressure of the defensive front of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They did show up. Yes, I was wrong. JPP did his thing. Shaq did his thing. And Dominic Sue up front, another veteran that came back and took a, a, a veteran minimum just to play with the Bucs to have an opportunity to win, did his thing, pressing, her up, pressing the pocket, not letting Mahomes step up. You also were right, and I know we're just going to keep rubbing this in. You were right about Kansas City's offensive line not being there, the starters being moved around, and Pat Mahomes not being able to, you know, find stay, stay on target and, and find his receivers downfield. You were right about that. So, you know, you were right. I was wrong. I was wrong. It, it, it happens. I'm not wrong often, but, you know, I was wrong. But, uh, well, yeah, it, it, it was no, it, it was a great game plan. And it hurts me to say, to give you all these props, but it was a great game plan by Bruce Arians and those coordinators up down there, man. We talk about that, too. And what they were able to put together to stop the juggernaut that is the Kansas City Chiefs. We haven't seen it. Kansas City couldn't run the ball. They barely could throw the ball. They couldn't get Kelsey really into the game. Tyreek Hill, they were playing almost the old Tampa 2 where they just had the, 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 the safeties sit in the back and keep everything in front of them. When I saw that, we was watching the game. I was like, this is going to be hard for, for Mahomes to actually overcome because they're not giving up the deep threat like they did the mm-hmm. first time. And, it, you know, that game plan was just executed to perfection. And that's why you see Tom Brady with, with another ring, man. Yeah, I, I think Todd Bowles did a wonderful job. Yeah. You look at how, you know, Guys who make it to the next level, whether or not you're a pro, whether or not you be a pro bowler, if you go and become an all pro, what really decides that is your preparation and how you can change the game and be an innovator. Yeah. Todd Bowles did that. He damn near played a two male, a two shell, meaning two safeties up high the, the entire game. time, the whole game now. And so when I saw this, bro, I was like, all right, so I'm trying to rewind it and make sense of it. And then he threw in the monkey wrench what Tony Romo highlighted. He had both corners coming, but it was so unconventional. Most corners would show their hand by pressing first to allow more time to get to, 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 get to the quarterback faster. He knew Patrick Mahomes likes to hold the ball to allow the deep routes to develop, and yeah. guess what happened? He had the corner sitting off at about five yards. They crept up the three at the snap of the ball, came off the corner, and it totally disrupted that stuff. And he playing a lot of his blitzes like that. So, man, I give a a, a big shout-out to him. I even go to the linebacker level when you talk about uh, Devin White. Man, he was all through the field last night, bro. Like, he reminds me so much just in stature of, uh, uh, of London Fletcher. You know, both are not very tall, but they cover a lot of grass. They cover a lot of the field, bro. And, dog, he did that. Devontae White, one of my all-time favorites. Now, he's not going to get a lot of credit, but I watched him on every plate. He's the reason why when you look at Travis Kelsey, 
even though he had 133 yards receiving, but the majority of the time when Levante David was on him, he shut him out. Yeah. He caught the ball. He tackled the catch right yeah. exactly where they were. So he didn't allow any yards after the catch, man. And then, you know, I look at it at the end of the day when you see Antoine Winfield Jr. throws up mm. the peace sign <laughs> for Tariq Hill because he did it to him the first yeah. game. Yeah, little payback. So, little payback. Yeah, it's a little, a little payback, man. So, you know, I know the officials called it. But, bro, like, I really – I thoroughly enjoyed the game, not because it was people say it was a blowout, but it was it was the strategy of the minds. And very rarely do you see Andy Reid is stumped yeah, by yeah. another defensive coordinator without making adjustments. Yeah, it was definitely beauty in that game. And even as a defensive player like you, I know you enjoyed that part. But as an offensive player, too, I just was like when you, you can see the beauty of it where it's almost like a chess match in anything you do works on one side and the other side you just can't get it going and that's what happened the entire game we were sitting there watching it waiting to see if Mahomes would get something going but even when he scrambled right we talked about you talked about it last week how uh, Mahomes just manipulates the pocket and he looks downfield he finds the receivers that do the, the scramble drill and come back to the ball but this week it looked a little bit different it looked like he was running for his life not running under control knowing where he was going to go with the ball it looked like he was running for his life and that goes to the uh, offensive lineman injuries moving people moving players around um you need that consistency that continuity up front the chiefs didn't have it and, and the game plan again was executed to a tee chiefs look didn't let Mahomes in the end zone really the mvp of last year not in the end zone the one they said that's the future the three field goals, the one that they said that's, you know, going to be the future of the NFL, which he probably still is. But Tom Brady has something to say, like, yeah, the future is, is, is you know, it's down the road. It's still the present. And I'm still a GOAT. So he has something to say. Salute. I was wrong. I was wrong about AB. I was wrong about the Bucks. I was wrong about a lot of stuff. But it is what it is, man. Well, you're missing out on a few things, but that's okay. That's the reason. <laughs> I'm partner. So let me refresh your mind. You were wrong. About yeah. A.B. staying out of trouble. I was wrong. We know we could bring a clip of that in if we need. And then now he's with Tampa again with Tom Brady. I'm not a whole 100% sold, man. I, I, I believe I'm sold now. Tim, you were wrong about Brady cannot win without Belichick. Uh, Belichick or Brady? Yeah. Belichick. Hands down. Hands Dead wrong. wrong. And then you were wrong. <laughs> The chief speed cannot be contained, Spikes. <laughs> okay. And you were wrong about the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. So, to like, for real, like, I'm going to put my cash up, cash app screen name up, man, because <laughs> everything I said was going to happen, it happened. You looked at That's JP, right. you look at Shaq Barrett, dominated both tackles consistently, right. right? And then... They the next stats, next gen stats had something like Patrick Mahomes ran laterally for over 400 yards. That's and crazy. you know, the hidden yards that don't count, but they do. And he looked like he looked like he was hurting. That turf toe was hurting. I yeah, saw yeah. recently about him saying, I will consider uh, surgery on this turf toe. I talked about that. Man, when you got a turf toe, that ain't going away in no two. Yeah. Trust, I know. I know, and they have you to shoot I mean? it up. And they have to shoot it up and numb it just to get back out there to play. So, and he's a a mobile quarterback that relies on his ability to to, to run and escape pressure. And you can see him him Gimby out there, man. It's, it's, even though they they may numb it before the game, you still feel that pressure when you're trying to escape and run around and, and plant in certain directions. So, yeah, man, he 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 was injured, he was banged up, but you you still can't take any credit away from what the Bucks did on defense. You know no, no, you, you you definitely can't, man, and. And uh, we we give Brady a lot of the credit. Um, like, I think about the way that they got there defensively. Those guys really stepped it up, even when going back to the championship game when Brady threw three interceptions. Mm. They only gave up six points off of that. Yeah. So it goes to show you they don't care where they're going to get on the football field and where the offense has the ball. They're going to show out. I give Brady props. He defeated three Super Bowl quarterbacks. Breeze, yeah, yeah. 
Rodgers and the latest Mahomes, all Super Bowl MVPs. You know yeah. what I mean? So very efficient in what he was doing, 21 to 29, 201 yards, three TDs. Man, won another MVP, fifth overall. But yeah. you know what all of this tells me, too, because you were wrong and I was <laughs> right. You got to fulfill your bet, partner, and it's time to fulfill your bet on the one chip challenge. Do we really have to do this? Yes, we really have to do it. Time is ticking. Time so, is money. Look, so I got the chips. Look, I didn't open it yet. I just, you know, it's still closed or whatever. But let me ask you something, because I, I, I did meet with you earlier to get these chips because you can't buy them in stores, right? Question. Hold on, got a sticker pulled off. Because I was moving it off. It ain't, it's still closed on the other side. Ain't nothing happening. All right. Look, it's still to the top. I ain't opening it. Okay, okay. It's still closed on the other side. Yeah, sure. But as we're looking at it, I'll see if you know if you can see it. The date, man, the expiration date has passed. 201 2021. Best buy. That means this ain't good, man. It don't this, say this best ain't. eight. It, it says, says BB. best buy. That means yeah. you you need to buy it before then, which it was bought. It doesn't say best eight. So that's the reason why you're here today, so you can eat it. No, it says best buy, like that's the best date to eat it. Buy. Like not B U Y B. Why? Best Buy. So this is past the date. So this is expired. So you want me to eat hot expired potato chips? Two. I would never like put you at risk. Never. So pull that chip out, it. man, and get this thing going, man. It's time. It has Make instructions. Sure you got on. everything, huh? They got instructions on what to do. This is dumb. I would Hold on, you got to eat two of them. There's two of them in here. Oh, is it? Yeah, man. Okay. She stink. It's time, baby. Let's go, two. Yeah! Come on, start to Come on, now. You, you, you putting on now. I know you a war dog, too. Look at you. This is a hot man. You think? This ain't good. You got about maybe like you got to chew it up and swallow it too. For real? Yeah, this ain't this ain't very good. You handling like a champ though. Damn. You wrong for this, man. I'll never, I'll never let you, I would, can't talk. <laughs> I wouldn't make you do this. <laughs> this is hot. <laughs> Yo. This shit is hot. Yo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What is that? I, I agree. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't take it, bro. Hell no. I ain't betting you no more. This is hot. You want to jug? You want to? You want to chug a gallon of milk? Hell no. Yo, this is this is not good at all. This is not good at all, yo. And why like is it out? To, that looks so ugh. I'm like about to cry. <laughs> this shit got my eyes watering. Oh my God. Whew. Yo, fam, this ain't it right here. I'm proud of you, man. Ooh. You fulfill your bet, bro. I need some more ice cream. <laughs> Yo, this is hot. I've never. I like jerk chicken. I like jerk food, but this ain't it right here. Is it overrated though? Because it looks like you, you you handling that thing like a champ. No, every time every time the ice cream melt, it just get hot again. 
Well, you might, I'm telling you, Koi tried to tell you to, to chug a whole gallon. I'll pay you back, man. Every time you open your mouth, it gets hotter. It does. Can I get some more ice cream, please? Like, for real? <laughs> well, lick the bowl, why don't you? Listen, never bet this in your life, ever. Bravo, bravo. The, ne the next, the next bet, you gonna get yours, B. You gonna get yours, B. Watch. <laughs> hey, man, I'm glad you stepped up to the plate, bro. That's what happens, man. You a man of your word. You fulfilled the bet. Took you a year and a half to do. That's okay, but you did it. And you're not passing out, slobbing on yourself like everybody else does it when they take it. So you a champ, baby. Welcome to the war dog status. Listen. <coughs> Yo, I can't even talk junk right now. This shit is so hot. I promise you will get yours, man. You will get yours. Well, I guess we would love to talk more with you, but two is going to have to find some cold water to put on both ends. Man, we appreciate y'all joining us. Stay tuned for the next edition of the Behind the Mask podcast. We, two, you got anything to say? No. <laughs> <laughs>